Thanks for joining us today as we take a look at miter flanges within SolidWorks sheet metal. And typically there's going to be two methods to do this. The easy way and the real easy way. So the real easy way will probably get you 80 if not more percent of the way there of the time. So what we have here, just a simple box, a bottom, four side flanges. And what I'm going to do is go up to my edge flange command. I'm just going to pick on this gray edge here, or this gray side wall, and place my first flange. While I'm still in the edge flange command, I'm going to pick this side one here. And you'll notice, as soon as I pick that second one, SolidWorks is automatically adding that miter for me. If I pick back here, it would do the same thing. And if I picked right there, it would do the same thing as well. So real easy, quick way to add miter flanges into this part. And in case you're wondering, if I come in and change the angle to something other than 90, it does follow suit. Click OK. And there's my four miter flanges added to this box. Now that's the real easy way. The easy way is I actually use the miter flange command itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom into the corner here and I'm going to create a sketch on this thickness right here. Go ahead and flip it. Pan over a little bit. And what I'm going to do is draw the profile of the sketch or of the flange itself. So I'm just going to come up, over, and down like that. If you want to really get into it, you can come over like so. You know, you get the point here. I would come in, dimension it, etc. In this case, I'm not going to worry about any of that right now. So I get this weird, funky looking profile. What I'm going to do is go into the miter flange command, pick the sketch, and it's automatically going to pick this first edge for me. I'm going to go ahead and pick the second edge, third edge. All right. And then the fourth edge. As soon as I click OK, I'm going to get my miter flanges. And again, if we take a look in the corner, the software is intelligent enough where it actually breaks that bend for us. Now, the one thing you have to keep in mind with this, I have to pick these edges in order. Give that a second. Clear these. So if I pick this first edge here, I can't pick this edge or this edge because it's following this route around here. Now, it's going counterclockwise in my case. As soon as I pick this edge, the other edges will populate. And of course, I can deselect that edge. This one goes away. And then we'll just deselect that last one. And there you have it. Edge flanges, the ease or miter flanges, the easy way and the real easy way. Hope you get some use out of this and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for joining us.